what is the story of how you guys got started and how your collective came to be? And then also, how did you break into this space and establish a name for yourself? Um, so the Brownsville Collective, um, we became official in October of 2018. So interesting story. We started off doing Pop-Up Milwaukee. So the store that we're at now on Vail Phillips and North, we were able to have that for free as a 30-day pop-up. Um, but separately. So simultaneously, while we were doing the pop-up, Tiffany and I were participating in RISE um, Milwaukee, which is a program through the African American Chamber of Commerce. And they basically um, teach you how to separate like business and personal finances and like really get to the the business part of it that a lot of creatives don't have. And at the end of that program, you're able to pitch your business idea and um, it's really like Shark Tank and they, it was really hard. But um, <laughs> so while we, we pitched the idea of the Bronzeville Collective as we were actively testing the model. And then when we came back with the results of being able to, within two months, we grossed, was it $17,000 uh, for all of the artists that we had in the space. So that's divided between all of us for the, the two, the two months and just to show like it's viable it can be successful so we pitched the business we won three thousand dollars and then we kind of used that to secure the space that we have permanently and it just all worked out it's like all the stars aligned and we are still here a year and some change later that's awesome oh i was like just so captivated by this story i was like <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so, yeah, so like I said, um, Luna started in uh, June of 2017, kind of unofficially, um, so, you know, I was new, still fairly new to the city, and, um, yeah, was working at an organization with um, my co-founder, Gabby Riveros, and we were just, um, and, you know, for me, we were, I was working on a project that was working in five neighborhoods. And again, like the artists were not matching the communities that I was working with. And I was like, this is not okay. I don't like this. And also uh, Gabby um, was also Latina. So I sort of, that was like my first instinct. I turned to her and was like, so are, is it just you and me, the only Latina artist in the city? Cause that seems probably wrong, but I don't know. I'm not from here. And she was like, no, of course not. So we kind of formed the idea and, just kind of as I was like, just name every, like, I don't know anybody. So you name every Latina artist that you like have heard of, that you know about, that you're friends with, whoever. Um, and we had our first meeting in June of 2017. And we met for a whole year before really doing anything. For me, I really wanted to be intentional about like, I didn't want it to be like my thing. Like I was like, I don't know. I have reasons why I want a collective. I want I want friends, I want a community. <laughs> I, want, I want to see more art, like artists that represent me or um, like out here doing work and, um, and we'll go from there, but I don't want to say what, what it should be. Um, so we met for like monthly for a year, you know, sometimes we'd have like 10 people at a meeting, sometimes it'd be like three of us, um, but we just kept meeting. And then finally um, we decided kind of early 2018 that we were like, okay, no matter what, we're just gonna have a show and wherever we're at, like, it will be what it will be. So we'll try to get as organized as we can, but like, we need something to work towards. So we had our first show um, in July of July of 2018. And that, that just, it just blew up. I had, uh, shortly after that, I actually pitched the idea of the Bronzeville Collective years ago at um, Dolphin Pool, which is like uh, another version of Shark Tank, obviously. Um, and I think we, our vision is just super aligned with each other. So the Brownsville Collective has been, um, we've been intentionally manifesting that for years now. So it just, like I said, all the stars just aligned at the same time. And she and I were able to make this vision come true.